Hello Oilers fans and welcome to another edition of Ask an Oiler. This is the show where you email the questions and your favorite Oilers answer. We're here live in New York City today with Jason Strudwick. Jason, thank you very much for coming out and doing this today. Yeah, no, I'm happy to be here. I'm sorry your favorite Oiler couldn't be here, so I'm here instead. <laughs> it's a pretty good second choice. <laughs> yeah. No, it's been a busy day for you guys and uh, and uh, it's an off day, so we really appreciate you taking the time to come in. Yeah, no problem. I've always got time for you. Well, we got a lot of emails that came in, so uh, we handpicked some and uh, we'll try and get through as many as we can with the time that we've got. So our first email came from Jacqueline in Edmonton who asks, what's the best thing you've ever been for Halloween? Well, a couple years ago, uh, my wife and I went as uh, Mexican wrestlers and uh, I thought it turned out really well. And uh, you know, we had the mask, the tights, blue tights were hard to find, but I got it. <laughs> and uh, definitely number one. And you guys had a Halloween party this year, is that right? We did, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I don't really remember what we went with as, so it couldn't have been that good. <laughs> it's a couple of weeks ago, who knows? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next question comes from Ann in Vancouver, and Ann says, Hey, Struddy, if there were to be a reality show based on your life, what would the theme song of the show be? The theme song? Um, that'd be something classy. You know, maybe like uh, Frank Sinatra, Come Fly With Me. You know, that's kind of the tempo of my life when I'm not uh, at the hockey rink. I like it a little bit more mellow. And that's what it'd be. Do you think your life's exciting enough for a reality show? Oh, definitely, yeah. Interesting. Maybe not exciting, interesting. <laughs> Next question comes from Joss, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Nemeton. And he asks, did you ever think at any point in your career that you'd end up playing in your hometown? You know, it's been a great, a great uh, surprise, you know, and uh, I guess he, he always hope, you know, but you don't really expect it, you know, and uh, the way it worked out this summer, it was just, it was just been a perfect timing. Um, you know, my wife and I, we, we spent our off season in Edmonton, so it's just a natural transition to the season, and it's, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, and you're able, you've got family in Edmonton too, is that right? I do, yeah, a lot of family there, and, um, you know, we're closer to my wife's family than we were out east, so it's, it's been a really nice, really nice thing. And you've been able to start up, was it your brother that you started a uh, fencing company with? No, I was just helping friends with some fences, and it got a little blown out of proportion, <laughs> but uh, I've just been helping uh, friends build fences, and it's, it's hard work, I respect those guys. That's how it is. The Edmonton media likes to pick up on anything that they can yeah. grasp yeah. to it and talk about it as much as possible. Right. Speaking of which, I heard you grew a mean looking mustache last year. Do you think most players should be growing the stash? And is this a trend you think that you'd want to uh, start again this year? This comes from Corey in Toronto. Right. Well, Corey, you know, I think the mustache is probably at an all time low in popularity. <laughs> and uh, so last year I just started one and uh, I actually enjoyed it, you know. And, I had it for about three months, and in the playoffs I grew a full beard, so I was actually quite burly. And I, I couldn't believe when I shaved it all off, it looked like I you know, skinned a cat or something. There was hair, <laughs> like the, the whole sink was full of hair. Um, and I miss it, you know, you, you get used to the way you drink, you know, because it's quite a bit of hair out there, and it, it took me a while to readjust to life without a mustache, but I feel I made the adjustment pretty well. Did you ever have those days where you ended up with stuff in your mustache? And I kept it well groomed. Yeah. I had a friend uh, uh, who, who was, uh, he had a mustache for a long time, and he gave me a little comb to comb it up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you gotta be professional, boss. Fair enough. Uh, next question comes from Cassidy in Sherwood Park. Cassidy says, hey, Jason, did you watch the Olympics this summer? And if you had to choose a summer Olympic sport to compete in, what would it be? I love the Olympics. Winter, summer, fall, doesn't matter to me. I love them all. Oh, those fall Olympics. Oh, started the ride. You're <laughs> <laughs> uh, <lyrical> a magician. <laughs> Anyways, no, I really do love the Olympics. And uh, the Summer Olympics, you know what? I got a chance to watch uh, 100 meter when it came to Edmonton for the, uh, the World Outdoor uh, Event start. And I was just so impressed with the speed with which they run. And you know, on TV it looks fast, but when you see them live, it, it looks like a car accelerating. And uh, not my car, I'm a slow driver. But uh, these guys, they can fly. And uh, if I could do anything, I'd probably do the 100 meter. Yeah, how do you think you'd fare? Uh, probably not as good, you know, but I, I, I could probably beat some of the kids in junior high. Yeah, maybe <laughs> in early high school. 